Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tile Coach. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to drill a hole for a faucet in a quartz countertop. What I got here, I have an inch and three eighths diamond hole saw and this is a dry cutting. You can probably find these on Amazon or at your local tile shop. But um, yeah, inch and three eighths diamond hole saw dry cutting. And then I have my Metabo grinder, which you've seen in a lot of my other videos that I use for both polishing and drilling holes in. You do want a variable speed. Don't try to do this with a high speed regular grinder. Uh, I found running at about 2,500 RPMs is the best way to cut. So I have my, I have my locations already measured out. This is a single hole. So I found the right distance between the edge of the undermount sink rim and the backsplash. And so this is a pretty precise measurement that you need to figure out and it's going to vary between faucets and sinks and everything. So you got to get that. Obviously I want it on the center of the sink. Sometimes you have a widespread faucet with the two handles and then the spout. Uh, this is just a single faucet. So this is just a single hole faucet. Really nice Newport brass. And um, you know we use these finishes um, in the shower. You can see this is a beautiful shower. Uh, we did um, subway tiles and really nice finishes, chrome fixtures. We did a uh, linear drain, single slope pan with some really cool little hexagon stone tiles. I really love that shower floor. Really pretty. So yeah, the shower came out great. And this is this is pretty simple. I would recommend if it's your first time doing it, practice on a scrap piece of quartz before you do this. What I've found is, is you have to be pretty deliberate when you're cutting the holes. You can't really go at it tentatively. You want to apply firm pressure and be confident in what you're doing. So basically the way, the way you have to do it, you have to go in at an angle. So you never start by going straight down into the hole. I want the bit to bite in at an angle and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna even it up and give it a little wiggle to help it. But don't ever go straight down on it. It's gonna want to walk off on you. But yeah you just have to be deliberate and go down with firm pressure right where you want it and roll it over. So Yeah, so that's all there is to it. Um, again, maybe practice on a, a scrap piece of quartz before you get it, but you noticed how you want to be very deliberate and firm with it. You don't want to go in tentatively and lightly. Once you firm pressure, boom, at an angle, then you raise it up, give it a little wiggle, and it'll go right through. So good luck with that, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching my videos. I hope it helped. Uh, make sure to watch the next video coming up. We'll see you on the next video.